Welcome to Burden eCast. I'm Maury Galbert, tax partner here at Burden LLP. And with me is my colleague and fellow tax partner, Scott Bittman. Scott, welcome to the broadcast. Thanks, Maury. The subject of today's eCast is the state of the estate tax. Given some of the tremendous changes that have taken place in the estate tax over the last year or so, I thought it would be important for us to sort of recap where the estate tax stands right now, Scott. So maybe you could spend a few minutes just telling everybody what the current status of the tax is. Sure. In 2009, we basically had a federal estate tax, 45% tax rate, $3.5 million exemption for each individual. So if you had a husband and a wife, $7 million of exemption in total. Gift tax exemption is only a million dollars with a 45% tax on anything that's gifted in excess of that, you know, um, during a person's lifetime. So now what we have is we hit January 1st, 2010 and the impossible happens. The government didn't do anything to extend the estate tax and because of a quirk in the law in 2001, in effect, the estate tax system completely went away during 2010 to be reinstated, scheduled January 1st, 2011, using the rates and exemptions in effect as of 2011, which are a lot lower, a 55% estate tax rate, as well as only a $1 million exemption. What we had as a side product of the old estate tax system was that there was this concept of step up in base. So even though there was an estate tax, government basically said, look, we'll let you start over for income tax purposes. And in effect, your basis for income tax purposes will be whatever the value is that we subject the assets to for estate tax purposes. Now what the government said is there's no estate tax, but we're putting in this carryover basis system, which basically means whatever my basis was when I purchased something, that would be the basis to whoever inherits the property from me, which means you could have a real challenging situation here. It used to be if somebody passed away, we didn't have to worry about historical records. Now you could have a business owner. I bought a share of stock in 1950, and I have to figure out what I paid for it and what the basis is for income tax purposes. The government gave us something, a slight uh, you know, way to deal with that, and that each individual is entitled to a step up for income tax purposes of $1.3 million, which they, which their executor can allocate to, to property, in effect to uh, reduce a million three of gain. And in addition, if, you are, if you're married at the time of your death, as long as property is bequeathed to your surviving spouse, there's an extra $3 million of basis step up that's allowed on property that goes to your surviving spouse. And that's the current state of where we're at.